Hey guys, welcome back to Maverick Watch Reviews. I've got something a little bit different for you today, something a little bit special. It's actually my first mega review. Yes, I'm gonna review four different watches from Casio and specifically their best calculator and database watches. Now I have four in front of me. There's also gonna be another two that I'm gonna talk about that I don't have in front of me, but we're really gonna talk about just these four. And they are the CA53W-1, the DBC-32D-1, the DBC-611-2, and the DB360-1AV. Gosh, I can't believe I said that without messing that up. <laughs> so as usual, we're gonna open these things up, look at all the features and functions, check out the build quality, and then I'll let you know what I think of these iconic database and calculator watches from Casio. Now there's one caveat. I'm not gonna go to uh, like an in-depth review on each and every one. I'm gonna give you the highlights of each and every one and then tell you at the end of the review which one is my favorite. So also, make sure you check out my Amazon shopping channel for my favorite one of these. I'm not gonna include all of these. And of course, my Teespring merch store. All of my t-shirt designs are brand new and they go up to 5X for us bigger, huskier guys. I've also even included some mugs. So if you want some, you know, put some hot coffee or hot chocolate in a Maverick Watch Reviews mug, you can do that. I'll make sure to put both links in the description field for you uh, so you can check that stuff out. All right, so I guess we'll go clockwise from the thumbnail and that's this first one. Actually, first, let me go ahead and unwrap all of these and then I'll come back and then we'll start talking about them. So give me a couple seconds, I'll uh, unwrap all these and then we'll get into the review. All right. All right guys, I'm back. So the first one we're gonna talk about is actually the oldest and that's the CA53W-1. Uh, so let's go ahead and take it off. Of course, you know what you get. Get your warranty and instruction manual down here in this little pocket right there. So let's get this out of the way. And uh, this is, this one, like I said, this one is the oldest. It's only a calculator. Uh, it's also the smallest at 33 millimeters and happens to be the cheapest. Uh, it's been around since 1984 and was first seen in the Back to the, uh, Back to the Future movie. It's only a calculator, like I said before. It doesn't have any database or, or, or telememo functions. Uh, it does have dual time, uh, daily alarm, stopwatch, hourly time signal, auto calendar, and a five-year battery. To me, personally, it's the least functional because these buttons are absolutely <laughs> tiny, and it also has limited water resistance. When I say limited water resistance, that means you know you might be able to splash this thing a couple times, but that's it. Don't take it in the pool. Don't take it in the shower. Don't Obviously, you can't take it diving. Uh, it's really not meant to be exposed to any sort of water at all, and it's only available in resin. You can only get it in this resin case and resin strap. Uh, and that's why it's, you know, it's honestly, it's the cheapest watch. Um, it really kind of started the trend. Let me wipe this thing off. It really started the trend back in 1984. And it's kind of considered really like the first uh, smartwatch when you really think about it. Um, but anyway, this is one of the best selling watches Casio has ever made. And it's probably still going to sell like gangbusters because people like them. They're disposable. Uh, they're well-made, even though they're cheap. Uh, but to me, these buttons, I mean, look at my fingers compared to these buttons. And that's really going to be the case with a lot of these. Uh, it's just not very functional because everything is so tiny. But still a pretty cool watch. Uh, I do like it. And this will be an excellent, excellent watch to uh, buy uh, a teenager or a kid, probably really like a young kid, uh, like, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, something like that. Because if they do lose it or break it or whatever, it's disposable. You don't have to worry about it. So anyway, there's the first one. Again, this is the CA53W-1. So that's the first one. Now let's talk about this one. Again, all your instruction manual stuff. Ah, I th I'm sorry, I left it in the box. Anyway, you know what you get at the bottom, the instruction manual, the warranty book, and all that other stuff. So anyway, here we go. Now this is a calculator and a database watch. It has a really big LCD display, which I like a lot. Uh, it's multilingual with 13 different languages. A, it has an auto LED light, five alarms, stopwatch, hourly time signal, auto calendar, 12 and 24 hour time formats and a 10 year battery. It's 35 millimeters, so it's a little bit bigger than the CA53W-1. And it looks a lot better, bigger because the display is a lot bigger. Um, uh, what else is it gonna say? Uh, la, la, la. 10 year battery and it's uh, it comes in resin or silver with a stainless steel bracelet. Again, limited water resistance. I mean, what do you expect? These aren't dive watches. Uh, but the main thing I like about this one is this huge LCD display, uh, the 10 year battery, the buttons are bigger. Now these cases, this is not metal. This is just 
uh, silver painted plastic. The actual bracelet does have some really, you know, not too bad. I wouldn't say really nice, but, but nice folded links. I mean, what do you expect for a watch in this price point? Uh, but it is metal, but the actual case is plastic. Now, another thing about this one that I'm going to compare with the next watch that's coming up is I like this bracelet better. I like this normal standard bracelet better than the other bracelet that comes with the, with the next watch that's coming up. So this again has been the DBC 32D 1. So there's that one. All right. Now, this is considered to be the dressier of all the watches. And this is the DBC 611. I think that's, is that the correct model name? Let me see. Uh, yeah, the DBC 611. And this is considered to be like the dressier, the dressiest of all of these watches. Uh, it has a 25 page data bank and it's a calculator. Um, it's the second smallest watch at 33.1 millimeters, but it does have dual time, uh, a stopwatch, five alarms, multi-language display, auto calendar, 12 and 24 hour formats, and a three year battery. Uh, again, limited water resistance, and this is available in silver or gold with a stainless steel bracelet. Same thing as the DBC 32D-1. Uh, the case is not metal, it's made out of plastic, though it feels kind of, actually, it feels kind of metalish but it's actually plastic. You can see the mold. You can see the mold seams. I don't know if you can see that right there. Uh, see the mold seam right there? That's actually, yeah, it's plastic. Anyway, but it looks good, feels good. It does also come on a stainless steel bracelet. Again, folded links. Let me double check. Yep, folded links. God, my eyesight really sucks, man. Yep, folded links. Uh, and this comes in this type of, where it actually slides in. And let me show you. It hooks and then it slides like this. And I just don't, I'm not crazy about these type of bracelets and never have been. So that's one reason why I like the DBC 32D-1 a little bit better. Uh, and that's uh, just because of the bracelet, tell you the truth. So let me hook this thing back up. There you go. Um, it is the dressier of the two. Uh, the buttons are a little bit bigger. Um, not my personal favorite. Uh, again, I like the bigger display on the other watch, uh, but this is nice. I mean, it's a nice watch, not bad. Uh, kind of the same similar design overall. If you look at the two, um, again, smaller display buttons are actually, I take that back a little bit smaller and they're on this one, one pad where the buttons on the DBC 32 dash one, they are separated, which I think makes pushing these buttons a lot easier than pushing the buttons on the Cassio. Now I tried them both and they're both not bad, but it's actually easier, much easier to push the buttons on this watch, the, uh, DBC 32-1. So anyway, so there is the DBC-611. There's this watch. Get all my stuff organized. And we have a watch that is just a database. It is not a calculator watch. If I can get it off the uh, stand here. Again, same type of uh, class system. There we go. All right. And again, this is just a database watch. Now this does have a little parlor trick, which I like. It's it, it's pretty cool, and I'll show you here in a second. Uh, again, just a database watch, just a data bank watch uh, is bigger than most of the other watches. Has dual time, stopwatch, five alarms, multi language display, auto calendar, twelve and twenty four hour formats, and a ten year battery. As you can see by the big ten year battery sign <laughs> on the display case. Um, uh, limited water resistance and is available in silver and gold. I like this one again because of the, the big display. I'm getting a little bit older, man, and I can't read those small displays. And let me show you the real cool thing about this one and I'll also show you the cool thing about the rest of them. Look at the uh, the light on this one. Love it. Look how <laughs> that's really cool. I call that the Hulk green. Really, really like that one. Since I'm doing that with this one, let's go ahead and do all of them. All right, here's a DBC 611. Where's the light? There you go. Kind of your typical Casio Amber LED on that one. Let's do the light on the DBC 32. Wow, I like that one. That really lights up the display nicely. Compare that one to this one. And there's, let's try to do this at the same time. This one really lights up the display a lot better. Yeah, you can see. Do that again for you. There you go. All right. And the last one, which is the uh, CA53W. Let's see if they use it has. Does it have a? Ah, it doesn't even have a uh, an LED. Oh, does it? What? Is that it right there? 
That button's kind of hidden. Is that a is that an LED button? No, I think that's just set. That's a set button. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, now there are a couple other of these watches uh, that are not that I don't have in front of me, and I'll tell you about them. Uh, one of them is a CA. Dash 56 dash one. It's just a calculator. I'll go ahead and put that on the left hand side of the screen for you. Uh, it's just a calculator. Uh, it comes in 34.8 millimeter size. Uh, it has a daily alarm, stopwatch, auto calendar, dual time, and a five year battery. It happens to have the best water resistance of any of these watches. Uh, and it comes in multiple different case and strap slash bracelet options. So that's that one. And the Mac Daddy of all of these watches, it's not even made anymore, is the DBC 310-1. And I'll put that up on the screen for you as well. It's got every, the, everything that all the other watches have. Uh, but it also has a 300-page telememo. But it only comes with a two-year battery, limited water resistance, and it's only available in resin. Now, roughly, it's uh, going for about $200 on Amazon, and that's used and around uh, $500 brand new on eBay. They stopped making those about a year and a half ago. And since they stopped making them, they have just skyrocketed in price. Um, so if you really want one of the Mac Daddy calculator slash database watches or, or data bank watches, as, as Casio actually calls them, uh, this is the watch you want to get. Uh, now, my favorite out of all these, I'm going to let you guess. I think you're probably going to guess correctly, but take a second. Think, you know, see what you think. Uh, see if you know which one of these watches is my favorite. And if you guess that it is the DBC-32-D-1, you are correct. Uh, I love this watch because of the big display, the 10-year battery, the bigger separated numbers. Um, I just love this. I also love it because of the bracelet. It has your, your, your normal type of bracelet, your standard clasp bracelet. I don't like the bracelet on the other ones. Um, I like the price. It's only about 35 bucks. Uh, this is the winner out of all of these, you know, personally to me, I love this watch. I really do. I like this one a lot. This is the absolute winner out of all the watches I've shown you. So guys, uh, I was going to try these on, but honestly, they're kind of a pain. Let me, let me try this one on here real quick. Give you an idea. All of them are going to fit about the same. I don't want to, I don't, I, honestly, I just don't want to try on all of them. <laughs> all right, there you go. Cool looking watch, man. And of course, you've already seen all the loom. So there you go. Really, really good wrist presence. Nice looking watch. If you want to, you know, channel your inner nerd, this is the way to go. Now, with everything being available on your phone these days, I honestly don't know why anybody would really want one of these or need one of these. But, and of course, you can also make the argument that why does anybody even need to wear a watch? I know a lot of y'all are probably, well, some of y'all are thinking that. Like, why do you even need to wear a watch when you have, you know, a cell phone, you have a watch on your cell phone? It's like, it's like saying, why do people ride bikes when we have cars? Because they're fun. Watches are fun. It's really the only type of, you know, quote unquote jewelry that a man can wear, but it's actually functional. So that's why people wear watches. And everybody says, why do you wear a watch when you have a watch on your cell phone? It's because they're fun, man. I mean, it makes you smile. You like looking down and you don't have to pull your watch. I mean, you don't have to pull your, your phone out of your pocket to look at the time. You just turn your wrist and there's the time. So anyway, so there you go. So I'll make sure to put a link in the description field to buy the DBC 32D. Dash one AD over at Amazon since it's my favorite. And again, only $35. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description field for you. And also make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you click that notification bell. Uh, can't stress that enough. I've said that in the last probably four or five videos. Make sure you click that notification bell, guys. So anyway, guys, that's really been about it for this one. I tried to find really the most relevant uh, Casio calculator and database watches. And I think I got you a good selection uh, so again, my favorite, the DBC-32D-1. dash dash And one more caveat, if I mispronounced any of these model numbers, there are a lot of them in this video, <laughs> please forgive me. So if I added a dash or omitted a dash or added an AV or omitted an AV at the end of the number or whatever, please forgive me. And please don't make any comments because it's, it's kind of silly. But anyway, so guys, that's about it. Until the next review, I will uh, see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.